it's about 9 45 in the morning it's a little overcast let's see if i can show you over here can you see it kind of overcast right now it's uh 55 degrees and it's supposed to get into the 70s low 70s today so i'm running to the post office because somebody bought from my etsy store so i got to get it in the mail today they bought an antique spoon it's an 1847 spoon so i gotta drop that off the post office and i'm gonna run to dollar tree i need a scrub brush because my vegetable bin out there i want to scrub the inside clean it out so when i put fresh dirt in there it's a little bit better so i'm gonna get a scrub brush i'm gonna come home and work on my front garden in the house by the house i think i'm gonna need help getting my vegetable bin moved over i want to put bricks under it so i need a little help with that and that might get done today and it might not i don't know looks like we may have some rain coming up can you see look at that it's all overcast skies okay got a little snow on the mountains all right there's my dollar tree I'll go in here and see if they got what I want. Okay, guys, I just got back from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to show you what I bought. I got some air freshener. This is fresh linen. I need some bathroom spray. And this one is amber woods. I think this one is probably a better smelling. I needed some pot holders. So I got my other one. Oh, I got two sets. Not bad for $1.25. I got this little scrub brush to clean my vegetable things and also this one put a little soap in there so i thought that'd be good to scrub it's easy for me to hold i'll scrub it let's see and i bought these i've seen them uh somebody was showing these but they go on your refrigerator door or shelves they got these little sliders huh, i thought these would be good because i don't really have baskets in my refrigerator and i got me a little tiny basket because i'm always doing yarn and stuff like that so that was my little mini haul from dollar tree all right i didn't show you before i've cleaned up my little planners there's our, our mums down there and I got a aloe vera, aloe vera type plants, some mums. But I planted some stuff back up in my hanging garden. So, but I cleaned all this up, all of this. Got all the weeds out of there. And then I, I got a drip system for my plants, but I want a hose. The only thing, it, when I turn the water on, it's leaking. So I need to get the silicone tape and put around there. But yeah, I'm going to throw some um, wildflowers down here. It's kind of windy today, so I might wait tomorrow. Kind of wet it down and then throw my seeds out there. So cleaned all that up. I got a little purple one. <laughs> but that's... Uh, Another part of my garden. Okay, here's my dinner. Different shades of brown and white. So my baked chicken, I don't eat the skin, but that's why I salt and pepper the inside under the skin. I let the skin kind of cook my chicken. I got little red potatoes, which I put some garlic powder and seasonings on it, and some cauliflower steamed in some butter, salt and pepper. All right, didn't did. did got some milk all right guys here i am in the car again it's a nice uh clear day the sky's nice and clear it's in the 50s high 50s supposed to be in the low 60s today i've got to go to the post office again i got another etsy sale so back to back so that's good now i can put a little couple more little spring easter items on my etsy store to the post office i go okay guys for dinner tonight I got some little pan pasta, mushrooms, and the basics, onion, bell peppers, some ground beef. I'm going to make my own. They have a recipe on here for a creamed sauce, Italian. So yeah, I'm going to do that, whip it up, put some cheese on it, throw it in the oven. Quick and easy meal today. Okay, well there's my pasta done with a salad and some crusty bread, milk. Get there. Hey guys, so I'm going to do a little spraying decorating now this is what i area i'm going to decorate this little area behind me i'll see what i could do i wanted to say today's the first day of my birthday month i kind of 
celebrate all month. My birthday's at the last day. But I always reflect back on, you know, this would have been the ninth month for my mom. What was she doing? How was the weather? Anyway, my birthday month, I'm going to be 72. And I was kind of laughing because just a few weeks ago, you wake up and you look at yourself and it seems like there's always stuff different. And I said, wow, look at all these wrinkles. They just like popped up on my cheek, you know, right there. All these wrinkles going this way and this way, you know. And I was like, oh my God, just like, you know, another year clicks and here comes the wrinkles. So funny. That's my history right there. That's me. <laughs> oh, so I thought I'd decorate a little bit, getting the spring fever here. I mean, it's in the 70s, I think low 70s today, but it's really windy. We got a storm coming down from Alaska. Even though it's hot today, it will be by next week and maybe rain. Let me show you what I'm going to decorate. All right, so this is some of the stuff I got. That's a jar I did. I got some rosemary, fake rosemary in it. I got a little bunny here. This would be my bunny table. I got those napkins. That little basket I found at Goodwill and I decorated it. A little rabbit I did. Two of those concrete looking rabbits. Okay, there you go. That's all my Etsy store, that little rabbit dish. Kind of dark over there. So this is what I got. I got some rooster plates that I picked up at an uh, antique store. That uh, little dish there is a McCoy with my eggs. I got a little chickadee in there with some eggs, like it just hatched. Oh, I still want to put something in my basket, I don't know, or maybe. And I got a couple of little roosters and chickens and an owl. That's what I got so far. So I need to, oh, excuse me, just a little Easter. There's all my flowers that I was trying to show you. I made all of those, put them together. Okay, I cooked up my little chicken tenders. I got some bacon, cut up tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce. I get some cheese, I got some tortillas, and we're just gonna do chicken wraps. Put a little ranch dressing on it and have some french fries. Oh, look at that wind coming through. Woo, doggy. <laughs> look, it knocked that down. It's just blown stuff. Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wanted you to look at this car. It sat here yesterday. The wind hit the side of it and put all these specks on it. Look at that. But the other side has nothing. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Clear skies, a little bit of clouds up there, some coming in, that storm coming down. Okay, for dinner tonight, I got my chicken breasts or tenders I cooked yesterday, one piece of bacon. I got some cabbage, some mushrooms, carrot, green bell, and onions. You know where I'm going, I'm going to do a stir fry. But I got pineapple I'm going to put in it. My special sauce, sweet chili sauce, and some water chestnuts. And we'll eat it over rice tonight. So I'll show you the final meal. Okie dokie. All right, here's my finished meal. Chicken, my vegetables, over white rice, and a glass of milk. Hey, I'm headed out again today. I sold another item in my Etsy store. So I, I need some bubble wrap to wrap it up and get it out in the mail tomorrow. As you see, it's a little windy out, not too bad. I got like a little hoodie on and a tank top. It's, to me, sweatshirt weather. All right, let me go run and do this. Hey, I'm off to the post office. It's kind of clear skies, as you see. It's gonna be in the 60s today. I got a sweatshirt on and so sweatpants because I'll just be hanging around at the house today, I think. I may go out later and get me some dirt. So I still need to finish my vegetable garden. The wind has calmed down a lot. I mean, it was so windy, like hurricane. <laughs> All right, well, let me get going so I can get back. Okay, for tonight, I'm going to have some fish. It's a white fish. Tilapa. I'm going to put some onion. I got garlic, parsley, cajun seasoning, basil, and lemon pepper. That's what my recipe calls for. for and I'm going to fry them. And I don't know what else I'll have with it. But I'll let you know. I did 
run around this morning. I had to go to the post office. My Etsy store, like I said, it, it's kind of stepping up there, so maybe that's a good sign. And then I ran by uh, Michael's because they give you $5 or you earn $5 credit. So I said, okay, let me see. I like to use those for stuff I need. So I picked up some, you know, styrofoam for plants, to stick plants in. I picked up some little flowers. In fact, let me show you. This is like a little mini haul I did, but I got me some a block of styrofoam for the plants, my fake plants. I got these little flowers, and I got them in. One has a little pink hue on it, and the others are yellow. I thought those are cute. For I got some little jars. I got this one, like a little lavender plant. I bought me another thing of this red yarn because that's what I'm doing my pillow out of. You know, I thought, well, I'll use up the yarn. The way it's going... I'm going to need more yarn. I bought one of those. Now that yarn was uh, $4.99 for the big one. And then I bought me some wide tooth needles. This is good for crocheting to, you know, put the ends back through and weave, weave your ends in. And I do have some that are metal. I wanted the ones, uh, they have some that split open. So no matter how thick your yarn is, you can just split open the needle you lay your yarn in there and then you can weave it. They didn't have it, but these were only like a buck. So with all my discounts, my $5 coupon, I only paid $6 for everything. And like I said, the yarn was five. So pretty much, I've, and this is a dollar. So five, six dollars, I got the flowers and the styrofoam for free. <laughs> and I did buy this little bag. It was 35 cents. I really like uh, little plastic bags or reusable bags, I should say. When I was in Germany between the years of 1975 and 1978, that's when I first seen little plastic bags with the handles to carry home. And I thought, wow, that's such a great idea. They also, in Germany, used a lot of their own bags, crocheted bags. And I remember I had, had those also. So when I went to the market in Germany, I'd have my little crocheted bags. You know, now we have them over here. Everybody uses plastic bags. But now we have a surplus of plastic bags because you shouldn't throw them in the landfill they don't recycle them so that's a big problem to me if they're going to make a great product that everybody can use then you need to find a way to dispose of it those companies need to get on top of that take care of that so i try to buy reusable bags as often as i can i crocheted me one two three four i think three or four i crocheted myself which i take Every time I go grocery shopping or go somewhere, I try to remember to take them. But yeah, that's my little mini haul from Michael's, my $5 uh, reward money. So I'm going to go, uh, I got dinner, I'm going to make uh, some fried fish, and I think I'll make some little red potatoes to go with it, and that'll be it. All right, I'll go crochet, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, that's my dinner, my fried fish. Got some green beans, a little red potatoes. It's a brown and green dinner, and my milk. All right, din din. All right, I got my vegetable garden going, so that's great. Now I'm just finishing up dinner. I got some rice on, made some broccoli, and I had a little bourbon, I don't know, infused pork tenderloin. It only took like about 45, 50 minutes to cook, so that's done. I think I do have um, where I go to the beautician school, or the beauty school, beautician school, I don't know, cosmetology school. When you go and after you go for 10 visits, you get uh, $25 free. Now, my haircut's only $6, you know, or 13 So I'm thinking maybe I'll go in and get a facial. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking I should go ahead and use that and maybe, I don't know, try to get a different facial. I've never really done the peels or anything like that. Cause, so maybe I'll look into that. Because I am older and I got age spots. It'll be pretty much free. I know they have several different things you could get done. They even have a, a facial for your back. I think I did that one time. I'm going to look into that. And if I do that, I'll probably go uh, Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Thursday, because I don't know how long that would take. So I'm just sitting around here. I'm watching, um, oh, what is it? National Geographic. <laughs> 
And they have a series called The Queens in the Animal World. So it's all the females because, you know, this is March's Women History Month. So I thought it was pretty cool that they got the queens. I'm watching the first episode. It's hyenas and lions, the females. Females are pretty powerful in the animal kingdom. I guess that's kind of it for today. (laughs) I got my exercise out there running around. But it is nice out. It's not too windy. So I got my, like I said, I got my garden done. I'm just happy now. Hopefully it'll grow. All right. They said we'll get rain today. Look at that big cloud up there. (laughs) That's our rain cloud right there, right above us. All right, guys, I'm heading out to Dulles Air Force Base. I'm going to do some shopping at the commissary. I'm just going out there to get my meat, fill up my freezer. I stopped over here to get me a bagel to eat on the way. I already got my own coffee I made this morning, or my son made it. Yeah, it takes me about 20 minutes to get out there. Be shopping. It's kind of windy today. It's supposed to be 69, but right now it's nice and cool. Sweatshirt, which I have a hoodie on. And uh, a lady gave me a compliment. I got my uh, Halloween leggings on that are purple with skulls on it. Uh, see if I can show you right there. See it? <laughs> a hoodie and she told me and I got my little pink uh, rubber shoes on and she was like oh that looks so cute I said well it's kind of chilly out there and she was complimenting me on my outfit so that's a good start to a day another woman compliments you I'll talk to you later I wanted to show you the mountains over here I don't know if you can see them snow on the mountains clear skies there's a jet flying up there so let me go in here and get my shopping done can you see them Alright, I stir fried some of the leftover pork tenderloin I had. I added some carrots and uh, onion, some onion and carrots. <laughs> leftover broccoli, leftover rice, and I added an egg. Din din. My egg and sausage with cheese burrito with some little hash brown crowns and some coffee. My breakfast. Well, guys, it's the end of another vlog of mine. Yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoy my little adventures I go on as an old lady going through her last days of her life. And I say that because I'll be 72 this month. This is my birthday month. Woohoo! And, uh, yeah, I'm going kind of downhill from from here. So I'm just trying to enjoy myself and do things. And I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and seeing the challenges, the ventures of a baby boomer. <laughs> and hopefully you'll continue joining me as I go on my little adventures and document, document my time here, <laughs> I should say. So, until next time, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye!